Squad 94, one Joey Franchise here, Poppy Shampoo. Man, I can't go anywhere. I can't walk down the block. Can't turn on my radio without hearing this. The biggest record in the world right now. I got my man CJ with me, man. Mr. Woofty himself. What's popping, my guy? Chilling, man. Living, man. Blessed. This is a beautiful time, man. The record took off like crazy uh, just just a few months ago. And now you got one of the biggest records in the on the planet. Uh, yes, just tell me what that feeling's like, man. I feel like you just hit lightning in a bottle. It's definitely a blessing, you know, especially for me coming out of, you know, Staten Island, to be exact, you know, born and raised Staten Island, New York. I feel like it was harder for harder for me to, you know, make it out, you know, cause due to due to the fact that, you know, we, we a forgotten borough. You know, a lot of people don't really show us that love. But, um, you know, now that I'm finally getting the support and, um, you know, from my hometown, it's definitely, you know, it's definitely a blessing, man. I, you know, I got New York on my back and I'm just, you know, going crazy and shaking up the world. That's dope, man. Coming from Staten Island, I know, you know, a lot of Wu-Tang growing up you listen to? Yeah, for sure. Definitely a lot of Wu-Tang in the house. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. What were some other influences that actually got you, uh, you know, got the battery going or put that battery in your back to get back rapping? Um, you know, just, you know, growing up, I was listening to a lot of, um, I grew up in the, you know, early 2000 era. So I was listening to a lot of, you know, G-Unit, 50, you know, Lil Wayne, Jay, Nas, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that kind of that, that New York, that New York feel, you know, let's, you know, turning on the radio and just hearing them all day and, you know, just looking up to them. Hey, you, you kept the drill movement alive, you know, with Woofty. Uh, what can we expect no, more uh, coming from you? I know there's a project on the way. You just signed with Warner. Um, also, you know, you got the Bop record that's ready to drop soon, too. Yes, sir. Yeah, now we, we dropping the Bop record um, very soon, you know, in the next few days, actually. And then um, it's coming with a visual. So, you know, that's going to go crazy. Um, you know, we working on the, um, the EP right now, you know, looking to drop February, you know, sometime in February. So that's that's going to be dope. Definitely expect, you know, more drill records, more that, you know, that whoopty feel, you know, that bop feel. And, um, you know, maybe maybe we're going to switch it up and change the direction up a little bit and, and give give everybody, you know, some melodic. Now, you kind of shook the internet up a little bit uh, a few months ago when uh, you and French connected and he hooked you up, he put the, he put the chain on you. Uh, are you affiliated with, with Coke Boys? Is that like, you know, are you in, are you and French just teaming up or brothers? Like, what's, what's the situation with that? Yeah, nah, French just, you know, he reached out just um, basically just showing love, you know what I'm saying? You know, especially, you know, me coming out of New York, you know, um, he just wanted to embrace, you know, the, 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 the new, you know, hottest, the hottest dude coming out of the city and just, you know, really just, just co-sign me and, 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 and stand behind me, man, just, you know, and um, yeah, shout out to French, man, that's, you know, that's, that's my guy. And we obviously can probably look, uh, expect some music from y'all somewhere down the road in the future, nah. so. I'll be, so I'll be already, for that. We already, we already got, you know, we got, we got a few joints already cooked up. That's cool, man. And you know, with Whoopty doing what it is, me personally, I don't, I think it's, it's fine as is. But has anybody reached out to you uh, to get the, uh, to do a remix? Um, yeah, we got, we, 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 we had a few people that you know was looking to, um, you know, jump on a remix, but, um, we just try to make it to where it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to just, you know, throw anybody on there. Got to, it definitely got to benefit, you know the song and, and, and the situation. So it just got to really just make sense. But, um, you know, the, the, the official remix is definitely in the works. Man, okay. Can't so, let nothing out the bag yet, obviously. Nah, nah it's, <laughs> it's, too, it's too soon, it's too soon. I tried, I tried. Um, uh, But yo, this is dope. Cause you know, being Latino, you know, and, and seeing you, you know, with Whoopty doing what it is and, and you, you know, taking off right now and having one hell of a, you know, 2020 going into 2021, um, you know, Last guys we saw really that was you know really doing it like that was really like pun and and and, and Joe yes, uh, that I can remember that's respectfully you know what I mean yeah, yeah, so yeah. Uh, tell me what it's like man because I know you and Joe actually chopped it up on IG Live uh, yeah. recently on his show uh, what kind of cloth talk was that you know was that about for those that didn't get a chance to to peep it yeah no nah, shout out to Joe man as you know he's legendary he's a le he's a legend in New York he's a legend you know as far as you know us Latinos you know what I'm saying ain't, ain't, ain't too many of us in the in the hip hop game and really putting on so you know that was that was that was a crazy moment for me um he was just basically just you know telling me like yo don't you know don't don't keep your foot on the gas don't stop young king like you know just just keep going and 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 number one number one rule just just stay safe you know what I'm saying there's a lot of young artists you know that's you know, losing their lives over, you know, stupidity and, and, and gun violence and stuff like that. So just really just, you know, staying focused and, and um, you know, 
pushing away all the negativity and just, you know, keep going. Got to respect that, man. And definitely some real cloth talk right there coming from a legend. Um, what else is next, man? I know you, you say you're working on the project. Do you have a name for it? Yeah, so I'm um, releasing my EP. The title is going to be Loyalty Over Royalty. That should, that should be dropping within, um, you know, the next month. So, you know, that, that it's, it's basically already cooked up, but we're just going to add, a, you know, some final touches on it and, and it's ready to go. No doubt. Any new, any producers that you got going to be connecting with that's reached out to you that want to get in on this? Yeah, for sure. We got um, we got some actual joints on there. You know, Word. um, we got the producer uh, Pokio. You know, he he, he uh, created Whoopty. You know, so we we got some more joints with him. Shout out to and the producer. We got some joints on there. Um, we just trying to keep it. You know, trying to keep a home team for now, and then you know start expanding. You know, more in the future. Respect that, CJ. Appreciate you taking the time, my brother. I'm looking out for that project, man. You got a date on it? Uh, mid February. I don't want to. I don't want to put a. You know, put a date on it yet. But mid February, definitely look forward to that. Yeah, yeah, definitely holding it down, man. Have the city shake, shaking up the block in the city. I like that. Uh, uh, <laughs> right, my dog, man. Appreciate you taking the time, brother.